Nairis gave us support, the president gave us support for our farmers. Uh, so Nairis procured seedlings for, 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 for our farmers. I think the figures are in the other gentleman. So, 2021, we, 2020, we signed an MOU with the Ministry of Agriculture in collaboration with the, it's been headed by government of Uganda in collaboration with the, being spearheaded by the Ministry of Agriculture. Uh, to mobilize farmers, train them, also to, to market the products. As I'm talking now, we have started the project on sensitization, sensitizing the communities, sensitizing the farmers, sensitizing the, the extension workers. And also, we are in the process of getting a processor, which is going to be put in northern Uganda for marketing. And I think if all goes well, maybe within five months' time, the processing plant will be in northern Uganda. Oh, you've been in this uh, customer business. Yes. How do you feel about it? Have you been getting challenges about it, or like uh, now of your manager? No. The challenges we have been we have not have been having enough funding because we are supposed to train our people in uh, disease controls. Even the research has not been done. Because so many people need information, eh? Information is power. And secondly, uh, so many people, they lack knowledge. Because when you tell them that you can get 26 million on the fifth year, they don't understand. It's a crop where you can intercrop, you can side crop, you can incorporate with beehives. So you don't lose anything from, from, from the, the crop. It has so many health benefits. When I went to Tanzania, I was very surprised. People go with lorries when it is, when it is harvesting season. They own sheep. I was very surprised. When we come to Uganda, we, we don't tend to, to know. It, it's like it, we are in a, another world. Tanzania has also its own bank. In Tanzania, this is the second main income for Tanzania economy. In Tanzania, it is under state house. I've been to Mozambique, I've been to Tanzania, even West Africa. They keep a key eye on this crop. Because it's a very, very high, high volume crop by nature. This is not, it is not, it is not rape intensive. It is not, it is a drought resistant. And also, any person can whatever. Because when the thing grows, the apple, the seed grows, it, sort of, it falls down. We are now even bringing about one million elders under our docket to be involved because elders are the owners of the land, are the owners of the family, so that we get the water for energy. Do you see Uganda as a country and also northern part of Uganda going somewhere? Yes, um, we are going to move to two middle income okay. for the ingress. Yeah. Because this is something, even you can, over 100 years, you can get income from it.